Hey friends, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly and uh, today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you and a book that I got from Tractor Supply that I think you might be interested in. So this is the Prepper's Pantry Handbook, How to Plan and Cook Nutritional Emergency Meals. 101 Tips for Food, Prep, Storage, and Cooking. So you get, don't mind the paint if you see it, I've been crafting. But uh, I had to go to Tractor this morning to pick up some bunny food and some hay for her. And I walked by the book section and I saw this and I started flipping through it. And it's very simple and easy to read. If you can see that. And um, it's a nice big wording and I, it's sectioned off really nicely. And so I thought this would be a really good book. I did splurge and pay $16.99 for this. Um, just because I liked some of the ideas in here. This is from Kate uh, Rowinski is the author of this book. And so she's done a few other wilderness guide to Dutch oven cooking, ultimate guide to making chili. We love chili around here. So anyway, um, in here, there's some, there's some meals that are really simple and easy for an emergency situation. You're eating out of your pantry out of necessity, then there's something has happened and she's showing a few different things that you can make with stuff from your prepper pantry. So I thought that I would stop. It just kind of made me think maybe I should stop at Dollar Tree again, see what else they have, if they have anything new, which they did. Uh, and so I got a nice bag of pantry items that I thought I would share with you. And while I'm doing that, I think I'm going to make something from my prepper pantry items for a meal for later. And it's just going to be, I believe three, I think I'm going to do just three products from here and we'll see how that goes. That's my plan, but you never know. Uh, so the first thing that I got, I really needed some more tea. It's been very cold here. We're in Maine. It's been very cold. Tea warms me up in the middle of the afternoon after I've gone out and checked water and, and the animals and made sure that they're all okay and the water isn't frozen. And uh, the tea seems to warm me up when I come back in from the inside out. So, um, so there's Energy Boost. It's Herbal Helpers Tea. And this one is Herbal Helpers uh, Immunity Boost. And this one is Detox Boost. I'll show you that. So there's those three. Now I was going to go over why or if they're, what the ingredients is in these to see what the difference is. So in the Detox, it has turmeric, chai, marsala, rosehip, hibiscus, and green tea. So that's in the detox. In the immunity boost, it's coriander, ginger, cinnamon, clove, and green tea. And then in the energy boost is ashwagandha, licorice, green tea, sunflower, and cinnamon. So green tea is the uh, same ingredient in all three, but they also have other uh, herbs in there. I got another Southwestern Ranch dip, even though it's just a small little package. I used the other one, so I thought I'd buy one to replace it. And our Dollar Tree has gone up to $1.25 per item now. So, except they do have a small section there of canned goods, which I got some, I think, tomato soup for a dollar. So, uh, but it's all $1.25 now. I got some instant oatmeal. like to have this in the morning with a little bit of butter and some honey um, in there. I got some of these Noor rice sides. These are really good to have. This is chicken flavor. Got, uh, three, three of these maybe. These. I got some other ones too. Yeah, I got three of the chicken, and I got three of the cheddar, uh, two of the cheddar broccoli. Scott doesn't like these, but I do. So I got a couple of those. I don't eat them that often, but I like to have them. I got some Pioneer uh, Country Gravy Mix. How many of those did I get? I got two of the Country Gravy. 
and those are great to mix into soups to thicken them up, um, to do chicken fried steak, um, chicken fried chicken, you know, anything that you want to make a gravy or anything like that with or, or a thickener it makes very good. So this is the brown um, gravy as well. This has rice mushroom sauce on the back for a, um, a recipe, which is cool. What does this one have? This one's got broccoli cheese soup. So there you go. That's a good thickener for that. All right, these I bought, I love these to snack on. The energy nuts. I like the energy. So I got, I did buy three packages, but I ate one on the way home because I just love them. And I haven't tried the power, but I grabbed one, one of the power ones, I guess, just to try. I'm sure I'll like it. I'm not super picky about that stuff. Um, this was the dollar item that I got. It's Campbell's tomato soup. Oh, no, it wasn't. The ramen was the dollar item. Yeah, a five pack of beef ramen noodles. So this is gonna be one of the things that we're gonna use today for making a meal for later. Not the whole pack, but one package. So that was a dollar. This was a dollar 25, but it is 30% bigger. It's a nice big, big can of tomato soup. I like to have this for, uh, also again, a thickener for my soups. I make a hamburger, hearty hamburger soup and it calls for tomato soup, and this uh, would do very well for that. If you just want a can of tomato soup, I like that too. A little grilled cheese sandwich, very good. Uh, beef stew, Southgate beef stew. So I got that one, and that's gonna go in our meal today. Got uh, a big can of Italian style breadcrumbs. I thought that was a good deal for $1.25 for this big, big can. It's 13 ounce and it's got chicken piccata recipe on the back. And I got a can of chunk pineapple. I like to have some fruit around here. We don't eat a lot of fruit, apples and pineapples pretty much. So I just grabbed a can to replace one that we had used. Typically I coffee can with my uh, hauls, but today I just wanted to, I just felt inspired to go and get something for food for a meal for later. So also Green Giant Vegetable Blend. This has got corn, beans, peas, and uh, that's it. Corns, uh, carrots, sweet peas, corn, and oh, lima beans in there. All right, so that's going to go into our meal for later. I'm going to try to do it a one pot meal. We're going to see if that works. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to start with my Dutch oven. I'm going to put a couple cups of water in there to boil. I'll put a little bit of, a couple little things of salt in there. I'm going to put this on. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook a package of these ramen noodles once the water starts boiling. Okay, the water is boiling, so I'm going to take out my noodles and not the packet. We'll leave the packet right in there. I'm going to put it right in there whole because I don't care if they're long noodles or not. Be fine. All right, we're going to let those cook about three minutes and then we'll come back take that same um, measuring cup that I used to put the two cups in and I'm going to tip this. I turned the burner down to low. It was on medium high to cook. Now it's been three minutes. So I'm going to take a little bit of this water out. I don't want it all out because I want this to be a little bit soupy but not too soupy. So we're taking a little bit out of there that we can get. We want to get some of the starch out. All right, so I opened up my two cans that I bought. This is the beef stew. So, and it's very beefy looking. It's got lots of good gravy in there. It's supposed to have potatoes and carrots in there as well, which I can kind of see little bits of them. So we're gonna put that right in there with the noodles. Again, there's gonna be one pot, one pot meal, hopefully. I can get away with it. Mix that right in with the noodles. 
and this stuff is all cooked so now we just all we want to do is really just heat it all together oh yeah I can see some carrots and potatoes in there so I've drained the water off on the vegetables and I'm pouring those in and if that has lima beans in it, it doesn't have very many but there's one there I don't know if I've ever had lima beans. It's a good chance to try it. So let that heat up a little bit. I'm gonna give it a taste. And if I think it tastes a little bit bland, I'm gonna open up that packet that I got from ramen, and from the ramen noodles, and I'm going to put some of it in. Maybe not the whole packet, because it's very salty, and I try to stay away from salt. Uh, it's all to taste. If that's something you wanna do and put that in, you go right ahead. Uh, you could also put in other stuff that would make it taste how you like it. Um, you could add garlic, you could add onions. I probably saute the onions a little bit to put them in. Uh, it, this is all just basically taking stuff out of your pantry, your prepper pantry, and cooking it up and seeing how little of ingredients you can use what you can use and how much it would cost for you to build that up so that you could do that uh, once every week and eat a couple days off something like this. Now, of course, this is something that uh, anything in here that your family wouldn't eat, probably not a good idea to buy this for your pantry. Um, typically, when, when we first started doing um, prepping years and years and years ago, you know, we were told you got to stock up on your beans and your, your lima beans and your, you know, uh, your fish and uh, which is a great idea if you eat that stuff. But if your family doesn't like fish or isn't into beans, um, what's the sense in buying things like that if you don't like it and you probably won't eat it or it'll be one of the last things that you eat out of your pantry because that's all you have left. Um, it's probably better off to stock up on things that you yourself and your family would eat. And instead of buying stuff that you wouldn't really, wouldn't bother with. I'm not saying if all you eat are Pop-Tarts and you wanna buy 30 boxes of Pop-Tarts to put in your prepper pantry, but maybe some vegetables, something else to go with that. Um, yeah, is all in moderation, I guess, as far as that goes. Not that I have anything against Pop-Tarts. All right, now I'm gonna take a little taste and see what this tastes like, so I can do that. Mm-hmm, mm, oh, oh wow. You know, that's really good. That beef um, flavor really comes out in that. And then of course I added extra vegetables because I wanted more than just potatoes and a few carrots. Of course you could always chop up potato, more potatoes, put in whatever vegetables that you like, but straight out of the can, I think that's pretty good. You could also, even though that there's noodles in there, you could make some rice and put it on top of rice. You could take the ramen out of there and put rice in there. Um, the cool thing is I bought a five pack of ramen and I still have four packs left. So that will last us quite a while. So as I go through this book, I'm gonna read through it and I'm gonna highlight things that I think I may wanna do a video on and talk to you guys about. I'm pretty sure I'll learn some stuff from that. We're always learning and it's always good to see what other people's ideas are. Um, these are just simple how-tos. If you don't have a garden or you just want to supplement some things that maybe your garden didn't do as well last year on vegetables, so you need to buy some canned veggies, um, the Dollar Tree is always a pretty good buy for the most part. Um, of course, shop around and see maybe if you have a Walmart or Dollar Tree, they may be better. You never know. But if you guys are interested in any more of my hauls or prepper pantry ideas, I'll put a link over here for you guys to check out. And uh, thanks for joining me today. Happy prepping.